Hi David, um, this is Charles from The Change Vlog and I really wanted to reply to your video about um, pro-life and um, pro-death penalty and how they're related and can you believe in one and not the other and so on and I've read a lot of the comments and I've you know, really thought about this quite a bit and um, I'm not pro-choice or pro-death penalty or any of those things I am I am pro free will. I believe that God's greatest gift to us um, is free will, and it took me um, 23 years to find a relationship through, with Christ. And um, you know, He let me. He gave me the free will to find that path on my own. He didn't say this is the path, and you're this is the only path, and this is uh, um, a a you, you know, a path that you can't stray from. This isn't, you're, you're not a robot. You are a person, a human being that he created in his own image and wants to give us um, freedoms. And I think that that is why when you look, um, you know, he could have just caged that tree in the garden. He could have said this fruit is off limits and he could have put fences and barbed wire and all this stuff. And there could have been no way for Eve to get to that fruit. But his greatest gift to us is free will and um, you know, he wants us to take that free will that he's given us and choose to follow him. So how does that fit into pro-life, pro-choice, all that stuff? Um, I personally would hope that I'm never in a situation where someone would want to abort my child. And I personally don't think I could ever live with that decision. It would be just completely a nightmare. I believe that whether it's life or not, um, it happened for a reason and the child is a beautiful thing. I'm raising three beautiful children now that I could not imagine living without. And if a fourth one were to happen, regardless of the circumstances, I would want that child in my life. And I just, um, that's my personal view. And that same token, I understand the free will that God has given me. He has also given to everyone else. So. If someone has not chosen to have a relationship with Christ, if someone has chosen to put themselves in a situation where they are in a pregnancy that they don't want, um, they have free will given to us not by a state or a, a national government, but a free will ordained to them by God. So they have the right to choose this. Now, and it's between them and Christ. It's between them and our God to resolve that issue, not me, not as a voter, not as a, a representative, not as anything. I don't get to dictate, I don't get to create laws that remove someone else's free will. And obviously there are exceptions to the free will because we have our commandments. So you can't say, well, if you say that, then you can say thou shalt not kill. And I understand that there is an argument whether or not a, a abortion within a certain time limit is murder or not. Um, I don't know where I stand on that. Um, I think I've avoided it just because I've never had to make that choice. But um, I do believe that that choice is really up to that individual. They have that free will. It is her body. It is her life. And it is that stuff that is affected. And, and she needs to make that decision ultimately. And she has the free will to do that given to her by God, regardless of state laws regardless of federal laws, uh, you know, regardless of any court cases, you know, it doesn't matter what Roe v. Wade says, God gave her free will and it is her body to choose and to reconcile that with her maker. So that is, that is my stance on that, on pro-choice, pro-life, that kind of thing. Um, I am, so I guess you would say I'm pro-choice because I'm pro-free will. So then how does that tie to the death penalty? I have wavered on this throughout my 33 years. There have been times where I felt like the death penalty is right and just and how can you take someone? I just think sometimes we give it to the wrong people. I don't believe that, that murdering someone then warrants the death penalty. Um, I think that I would, I would be, I am more offended by like the molestation and raping of a child than I am the murdering of an adult, which is just weird. 
But I think that the whole thing is then you get into which crime is worse and all that kind of stuff. So I think for the sake of avoiding that argument, I think that um, I am anti-death penalty just because how does how do we determine what laws that are broken are worth the death penalty? And, and again, it's so hard to say that... Um, we have the right to take another life when it says thou shalt not murder i i don't you know where does it say except in the case of justice or revenge or but i don't know like I, i'm not sure i've found that clause and you can't say eye for an eye because that you know you're taking things out of context people who say eye for an eye need to read that entire verse um not just the one line um, so, you know, and look at it in the context of that chapter, you know, in the book, um, because, you know, that is not a, a reasonable answer for the death penalty. So I think that, um, for me, I can see cases where I would feel like personally, I would like that person to pay the ultimate price, but, um, I don't know that it's my place to make that decision. And I think there are, you know, Chris from Faith, Ele Faith Elements has already made um, a reply to your video quicker than I could have. And I watched his reply and I really agree with his statement of, um, so somebody does something and breaks this commandment, thou shalt not murder, right? Well, if this person is sent to prison um, and we choke up the cost of keeping this person alive for the rest of their life in, in incarceration. But at the very end of their life, that person established a relationship with Christ, realized their mistakes, repented. Um, is that justification for paying that price that whole time? And I think that if Jesus were on the earth today, um, if we look at the examples in the Bible and who Jesus frequented, who, ate, who he ate dinner with, um, you know, it wasn't the obedient Christian people, they weren't Christians then, but it wasn't the obedient followers. It was, you know, the prostitutes and the tax collectors and the people who were corrupt that he went and saw. I think that if Jesus were on the earth today in the flesh, I mean, his greatest works would be done in these prisons and these death row type scenarios and situations. Um, so, you know, that to me is, is a valid point by Chris that um, just because it's convenient to not pay for these people's incarceration um, doesn't mean we have the right to terminate their life. And um, that's a re it's a really tough topic, and I'm glad you raised it. I'm glad I had the opportunity to respond, and if people want to comment below and create a conversation with me, I know you get tons of comments, and it's so hard for you to reply to everyone. And I know you don't like to argue in comments, that you like to have conversation. So if anybody wants to start something below, um, feel free to comment on mine. I, I reply to every comment on every one of my videos um, because I'm just not that big yet and I can do it. Um, so, uh, yeah. So anyway, David, thank you for posing the question. Chris, thank you for your reply faster than I could get mine on um, so that I could, you know, incorporate that into my answer. But um, basically, that's the deal. Um, I think that's where I stand on those. And I, I you, someone might watch this and feel like maybe I'm a bit wishy-washy, but... I think the key bullet points for me is free will. Um, God gave us free will, and that is the most important thing. So I'm, I'm reluctantly pro-choice in the fact that I can't take that free will away from someone else. But I am, and then I think I am anti-death penalty, um, even though I'm pro-choice, um, because I don't see the two being related, and I, um, I don't feel like terminating an adult human being. Um, is justifiable um, for the sake of a price of incarceration or revenge or the word justice because in our community in our society today justice is very skewed so thank you thank you thank you i keep rambling so i'm going to end this now uh thanks for watching hope to see you all in future videos good night for now I do new birds suddenly appear every time you come here, just like me, they long to be close to you.